views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to the hit show, Sheer Alchemy, with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Get ready to stir up your passions, identify your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Just say yes to explosive abundance. Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst and clairvoyant who uses her intuitive and energetic gifts to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Now, here's your host, Leslie Fontaine. Buddy, this is Leslie Fontaine. So great to be here today. We have quite the topic today. This is coming up a lot, uh, especially in a lot of my client sessions, um, manifesting success from the higher dimensions. It's an interesting topic, and I think a lot of you are going to resonate with this because some of us are really not sure what the rules are anymore, and that's what it's about. But meanwhile, this is sheer alchemy. This is your opportunity to shift, transform, move your life in the direction that's been coming to you for quite some time. A lot of us have been getting some intuitive guidance, messaging, clarity, and when we're not listening, the two-by-four that just whacks us over the head and says, enough already. Time to change course, time to change direction. So this is a tremendous show. Wanted to give you the dial-in number um, as we get started. If you're interested in being a caller today, and we will be taking calls on this topic, the number is 800-930-2819. 800-930-2819. So a lot of what's happening right now is a lot of people are getting woken up by spirit. We are getting connected. We're finding our path, and we're coming from all different directions. You know, let's not get hung up on what our past spiritual experience was, whether we came in through a certain religion or a certain modality or a certain discipline. Um, Forget all the name tags, even the New Age ones. Just throw them out right now. But something within you quickened. Something came alive. You started expanding your consciousness. You started expanding your horizons, looking beyond what you're seeing right now. And if you're like a lot of us, we have our day-to-day lives, and then we have that spiritual thing we do on the side. And on the side could mean that you meditate in the morning, or you listen to spiritual recordings, or you read books and all that, but it didn't totally integrate with the rest of your day. And, you know, sometimes we associate spirituality with good behavior or what we think to be enlightened views and uh, how we approach life and looking at the world. But if we were super honest, it didn't really fully go all the way down, right? We would still find ourselves using uh, idiomatic terms uh, that we hear in our culture and our language was habitual and things that our families always said, the work world says, the economy says, the news says. We weren't really transforming any of that. So what's going on now? What's happening now is that we're becoming aware of how this kind of consciousness, this kind of awareness, can permeate the deeper levels of our existence. And... You know, it's really, we talk about peeling the onion. Well, this is more about permeating the onion. This is about going deeper and deeper and deeper. We suddenly discover that our words are powerful. We discover that our energy field is quite powerful. You know, we we thought for a while, okay, I'm going to speak positive. I'm not going to let any negative stuff come out of my mouth. And then 
we realize, wow, there's a lot of negative energy coming out of my field anyway. So we start getting real. So this show today, Sheer Alchemy, is about how our spiritual consciousness, our awareness, starts to permeate the rest of us. Um, There are many people that have tremendous gifts in uh, the spiritual realm. You know, they're clairvoyant, clairsentient, they... They can see light beings, they see the auras, they uh, <clears throat> channel, they do many things. Um, and honestly, that is an openness and an awareness within those people to allow that kind of information, that kind of experience to come into them. You can allow that as well. Um, we're kind of in a place now where everyone can draw this in. It's an intentional time. The light beings, the ministering spirits, the spirit realm, they're all waiting to participate <clears throat> with you. So as you bring these things in and as you start taking a look at your current life, what I hear a lot from my clients is, I'm just not happy. I'm just not happy with where I am. Well, as the old saying goes, wherever you go, there you are. And even if you change partners and circumstances, you take yourself with you. And so, so much of the transformation going on now is from within. So today we're going to talk about, as you become conscious in the spirit realm, let's say you've been very successful in the corporate world, and you've made a lot of money, or you've had a great relationship, and you had all of the physical accoutrements, the house, the property, the vacations, the money, etc. And you start going deeper and deeper in your consciousness. Sometimes when we start experiencing the healing modalities that we're expressing, we think that we need to now create a business in that whole area. So what do we do? We bring our old habits with us. We bring our way of operating in the natural world, the corporate world, into the spiritual modality. This is going to make sense for some of you. And we start wanting to create a business, and we start wanting to create a way of operating in this world that allows us to uh, make revenue from our spiritual work. And then, you know, this goes along for a while because it's interesting how spirit operates, right? We get our gifts. We're really operating in this whole modality that we're, we're doing. And it seems to be going very well. And then there is a seeming decline. And we can't figure it out and we think something's wrong. And honestly, nothing's wrong. It's the beginning of a deeper shift within you. And this is what I want to talk about today is we sometimes want to bring in the way we've operated out in the world into the spirit realm. And for those of you who are shifting into higher and higher vibrations, higher and higher dimensions, you realize that those rules don't work. They don't work in the spirit realm. So you start getting a bit disillusioned because you realize you don't know the new way of operating. So today's show is going to be about talking about the new way of operating when you've done a dimensional shift. And this is resonating with a lot of you out there. And um, this may be a more conversational topic, but we're going to go deep into our fields, our energy, um, how the hooks that are pulling on us Surface and the opportunity that that gives us to then shift. So for those of you that want to call in and talk about the shift that's going on in your work, the number is 800-930-2819. I have some events that I want to be uh, talking about. I am going to be doing my very first Seattle Area Expo. I can't believe it. I've been here for quite a while, and I have not done any shows here. There is a Conscious Wellness Expo going on in Kent on July 25th uh, from 10 to 4, and it's hugely attended. 
It's got some tremendous practitioners. I hope you all will come. It will be so great to meet a lot of you that I've met over the phone doing sessions with you. But again, it's July 25th from 10 to 4. Uh, it's been known as the uh, Boeing Parapsychology uh, Group, but um, they are hosting this, and they host it every year. It's a tremendous show. So do come, especially if you're looking to get clear on a lot of things that you're stepping into now. So after the break, we're going to go a little deeper into what is surfacing for you as you transition into the spirit realm in terms of what you're working on. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Dr. Linda Salvin, metaphysical master, now bringing insight and metaphysical abundance to your living room with her spirit-filled candle line, Wicks of Wisdom. Dr. Linda's unique formulations of pure and powerful herbs, oils, and essences can assist you in love, luck, finances, health, and more. Wait till you experience the power of Wicks of Wisdom. Find out how these amazing candles can help you. See them now and order yours at lindasalvin.com. Or call 888-509-1077. This is Lynn Brown from the show Winning at the Game of Life. Listen, it's time to enrich your money stories and open your path to all that you desire. We all have limiting beliefs which we accumulate from our life experiences, ancestors, and past lives. These beliefs block our ability to receive the unlimited flow of abundance that the universe is constantly offering to us. Why are we so emotionally caught up on the word money? It's only one of the many forms of abundance. I'm excited to uncover your unique stories and limiting beliefs around money and abundance, as well as give you tools to release them from your space. It's time to invest in yourself. You deserve everything you ever imagined and more. Call me to schedule a reading at 844 letter B into it or letter R letter U into it.com. Lynn was very accurate and she was so clear in explaining everything to me. I highly recommend Lynn to all of you. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Do you want to transform your life's trauma and challenges into the gift that your life was meant to be? It's time for you to take control of your soul journey to heal, grow, and shine. Manifest your destiny with Wendy Wolf, soul transformer, energy, and psychic healer. To start your soul journey, contact Wendy at healgrowshine.com or email Wendy at wendy at wendyrwolf.com and start your adventure today. Hello, everyone. This is Leslie Fontaine, and we are talking about manifesting success from the higher dimensions and what that experience or challenge can be like. First, I want to give you some uh, information about how to reach out to me and contact me. A lot of you are interested in sessions and shifting through some things in your life. You're really ready to propel yourself into the next level, and you can find me at lesliefontaine.com. That's L-E-S-L-I-E-F-O-N-T-E-Y-N-E dot com. 
You can write me there. You can uh, subscribe to my blog and my newsletter. You can call me at 678-665-3366. That's 678-665-3366. As mentioned, I'm going to be in the Seattle area at an expo at the Conscious Wellness Expo in Kent on the 25th of July. I'll be back in Chicago August 15th and 16th at a Body, Mind, Spirit Expo, then in Raleigh, North Carolina, August 22nd and 23rd. I will be at the Durango Whole Life Expo September 11th and 12th, and back in Cincinnati November 21st and 22nd at Victory of Light. So the travel season begins again, and I look forward to meeting all of you. So it looks like we've got a caller. Let's go, Benny. Yeah, we'll take David calling in from Seattle. David, welcome to the show. What's up? Hey, hey David. what's going on? Thank you, Benny. Hello. Hi there. What's Let's going on, out. David? How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Um, just trying to continually manifest a higher spiritual consciousness and connection to the Creator. Uh-huh. And I'm now, I mean, I I guess what I'm trying to feel is um, how to manifest such things through means other than the realm of the physical. Wow. Or, well... Or in a sense of, of doing less but creating more. Wow. Well, this is an interesting topic. So, um, you know, David, I'll, I'll jump in here, and I'm really grateful that you brought this topic up. So, first of all, you know, we are in these uh, physical bodies, and we're in earth school, and a lot of the light beings would give their eye teeth to... Uh, to be working in this realm. It can be hard for us, and sometimes it's so hard because we haven't learned to protect our field and to manifest both in the physical and in the spiritual realm at the same time. So we have to honor both the divine masculine and the divine feminine within us. There is not going to be a no manifestation in the physical. We will get inspired thought, inspired idea. We will allow, we will intend we will shift our energy to draw in the manifestations that we're looking for, but then there will always be action required. And that is just the nature of it. So the divine action, the inspired action, is our divine masculine. That is the part of us that steps out and does things. So, you know, one way to put it in the spirit realm, when you are shifting your field, you are you know, doing the action of a meditation, a clearing, a drawing in, an intending. You're taking action to bring um, that level of vibration into your meditation or uh, prayer time or your, you know, whatever your spiritual um, modality is. And that is an action in and of itself. Now, spirit comes through and says, all right, I want you to, to do these things, to take these actions. When we reject the guidance that comes to us or the action to take, and, you know, it could be go to school. It could be uh, stay home from work today and work on this resume or this new project or whatever it is. But we are carrying light out into the world, so we don't do this in isolation. And we have to feed ourselves and take care of ourselves. So I know that, you know, that sounds somewhat conflicting in the spirit realm that we want to just manifest without necessarily taking a lot of action, but action is required. Now, when we sense the resistance in our field to do some things, and I'm going to now expand this discussion beyond what David has shared, but when we get guidance to step beyond um, into, you know, another level of manifestation, we have to walk through what's coming up. When we sense the resistance, then we have to take a look at that and go, what is the resistance about? Is it coming from fear? Is it coming from some part of my energy field that um, doesn't think I can do it or is dealing with a self-esteem issue? Are there ancestral blocks showing up? Um, 
Are there some past lifetime fears? Is my inner child reacting? That is the gift of the moment when we have resistance. And I absolutely love this. Now, I'm going to be honest. It doesn't always feel good to be walking through that experience where you're feeling the resistance, you're feeling the fear, and you don't want to do it. But unlike some teachings that say feel the fear, do it anyway, I look at it that this thing is surfacing for me to take a look in my heart space. I'm feeling a tightness in my solar plexus. What's going on there? Do I want to release this fear to step into all that I am? Do I have preconceived ideas, images, beliefs, teaching, concepts of the badness or the, you know, less than spiritual experience out there in the world? I learned that I have a privilege of carrying a very high vibration wherever I go. So whether I'm walking into a grocery store or I'm going into a corporate office building or I'm standing in line at a bank or I'm on the radio, I am carrying that same vibration. The illusion is that that vibration is different in each of those categories. It is not. If you can hold your space, you hold your energy wherever you are, then you are doing service on the planet. If you are doing collective work, and I'm going to throw this out to you, if you're doing collective work to send, you know, energies to to Syria or to uh, some of the hot spots in the world that are suffering, suffering terribly, um, that is something that you are holding space right now in present time, holding your energy, bringing in powerful light beings to share across the globe. So I do want to clarify for everyone that we have the divine masculine, the divine feminine. We are in earth school. We are showing up here with this privilege of carrying this vibration. And if you're like David, who's working on raising your vibration continually, we can have times where we have to check out. When we are shifting into higher vibrations, it can sometimes knock us out for a couple of days. And those of you who have gone through these shifts know what I'm talking about. But then we come back into action. Okay, so I don't want to confuse this powering it out that we've kind of been turned off by because it doesn't feel very spiritual. And the fact is, it's not. It's based in the old masculine. It's based in a lower vibration. It's based on pushing through from the personality or ego level. And what we're talking about is uh, divine action, divine inspiration coming from a higher modality. And the rules are very different. And that's what I do want to talk about on this show. I hope this makes sense to you um, because there's a point where a lot of us get very stuck and we don't want to stay stuck um, in that heaviness. So some of us have been, you know, I've talked with a lot of clients who have felt very depressed and their low energy and um, they've always been that one in the family who's so sensitive and has it's even the energies have almost compromised their their physical health now we don't want that right we want to work with someone who can help us shift out of that but then there's the decision which is I do want to come out of it where I love the work that I do, and I do it on myself, my friends. I really do. I get in my face, and I go, what is it that this is serving in me to not take action? What is it that I'm holding on to that keeps me from having to take a chance to risk, to you know, not make a mistake, to not have to own the possibility of failure? And this is really hitting a lot of you. So when these gifts of the insecurities and the low self-esteem and the fear come up, this is like a birthday present, okay? I know you don't think so, but I'm telling you, it is. This is a gift of spirit to go, wow, you're ready to shift out of this. Would you like to? Because when you can shift out of it, you become, again, a bearer of even higher volumes of light. You become an inspiration and an example to so many people. They get to watch you do this thing. But I want you to notice your aversion to powering it out, which some of us don't want to do anymore in the corporate world, and inspired action, because the opposite of powering it out is not 
no action. It's not no work. Um, and I hope this is resonating with some of you. I, I know for a lot of you, I can tell in my field right now, a lot of you are getting some real tightness in your heart space about some of the dreams and passions you've had, you know, and oh my gosh, what's coming to me right now is there's some people who've had it told to them, well, you know, it doesn't get served to you on a platter, you know, like um, just these old remarks that really almost withered you, you know, shrunk down your energy. No, it doesn't get handed to you on a platter. But what Spirit is saying right now is that Spirit is going to support you. Source is going to support you. And you're going to step into that vibration and you're going to create with Source. For many of us, we've had a lot of Source abandonment issues. Well, God, if you're there, where were you? You know, and, and, and so I deal with a lot of people with betrayal issues. We often attribute to Source, to guidance, uh, some of the abandonment um, experiences that we had from our uh, parental experience here you know, on Earth. Again, this is another healing where we're going to get to find out that we have a partner. We have a partner for our energy field. We have a partner in healing. We have a partner in manifestation, a partner in abundance. And it is an absolute gift and privilege and joy to deliver that message. And if you want to learn how to walk through this, I do hope you'll give me a call. You can reach me at 678-665-3366. And we can work through some sessions where you come out on the other side creating an absolutely fabulous life that is based in spirit, based on these higher vibrations, based on divine inspiration, and you taking action from a wise place. In the next segment, I want to talk about some of the fear that comes when we don't have the guidance yet. This is really, really important for us to understand when we're shifting into success or productivity from the higher dimensions. It's different rules, different modalities, different ways of operating. There is a little fear because we haven't done it before. We haven't taken the training wheels off before, but I'm telling you, you are that powerful. So stay tuned. We're going to step into what it's like to get guidance from the higher realms and to manifest it in that dimension. Enlightening, humorous, and compassionate. Listen live to The Kelly Ballard Show, insight and inspiration from the great beyond. Kelly is a fourth-generation medium and intuitive who covers topics ranging from grief, spirit guides, and listening to your intuition. Kelly can help you get answers and guidance from the other side with a little bit of humor and a lot of healing. Tune in to The Kelly Ballard Show, Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, here on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Chris Stainis is a spiritual leader and healer and teaches a course on how you can transform your life through a meditation and healing system that will manifest your spirit's dreams. She manifested the Women of Wisdom Conference, the Women of Wisdom book, and this radio show. And she can show you how to change your life, too. Are you ready? Visit the website and contact her at VoicesOfWomenToday.com. That's VoicesOfWomenToday.com. What does a dentist of the year get? A little plaque. (laughs) Welcome to Smile Big, where we offer cosmetic, restorative, and preventative dentistry. Dr. James Rosenwald and Dr. Susan Abdenard work hard every day for their clients to be happy to smile with the latest equipment for complete smile restoration for anyone. The sooner you call, the sooner they can help. Call 425-454-4040 or email scheduling at smilebig.com. You can even visit our website at smilebig.com. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Dr. Loves Quickies. 
Mary's about ready to give love the shove, because no matter what she tries, guys don't know that she's alive. To turn guys on, she needs to turn on those green lights, nonverbal cues that say, over here. Most guys won't approach unless they're cleared for landing. So ladies, to kickstart your love life, turn on those green lights and flash your pearly whites. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndorf of AskDrLove.com. Wondering how to play the game of life and actually win? Stop wondering and start winning the game of life with the unique, incomparable Lynn Brown. Lynn takes everyday aspects of life and infuses them with the magic of soul and passion to help others. She wants to help you next. Lynn offers a myriad of spiritual healing from chakra clearing, aura healing to even corporate and business readings. Bring your game face and visit letter R, letter U, into it.com or call 844 letter B into it. That ought to fire you up. This is Leslie Fontaine again. We're talking sheer alchemy, and I hope some of you are doing some sheer alchemy. This is a show about manifesting from the higher dimensions, um, learning how to be successful from that dimension, and it is learning. Wanted to let you know that uh, I've uh, got a Twitter handle at Leslie Fontaine. That's L E S L I E F O N T E Y N E, and I put out some pretty unique stuff out there. You know, it's not your usual feel good inspiration kind of stuff. It's it's really, you know, what guidance is showing me because I'm very much into the reality of what our spiritual transformation's about. A lot of us are shifting deeply, shifting greatly. We don't have someone telling us what is going wrong on, you know, is it bad what I'm feeling? Is it good what I'm feeling? Um, so, you know, this is a lot of messaging for a lot of us that are stepping through these shifts, and I want to support you in that. So if that's something that would help you in your day to get that every once in a while, then I definitely would uh, follow at Leslie Fontaine for that. <clears throat> I also want to remind you of the show in uh, Kent at Conscious Wellness Expo July 25th. And I uh, hope to see you there. Even if I don't see you, there are some tremendous practitioners there that can uh, walk you through some shifts that you're experiencing. So what I wanted to talk about, I mentioned before, um, is what it's like to follow guidance from the higher dimensions in terms of success. Success is an interesting word, right? Because depending on what level of your energy we're talking about, what dimension we're talking about, success means different things. And I often ask my clients, you know, is success a good relationship for you? Is success money? Is success property? You know, but after a while, as we start doing soul merge, where we're, you know, going higher, merging our personality with the soul level, and even higher and beyond that, the priorities change, right? You know, suddenly you're not into food, clothing, shelter, and status, and, you know, looking good for the family, and all that. You're into healing core wounds. You're you're shifting out of every attachment, uh, belief, things that are holding you back so that you become this amazing channel for source abundance, source health, source unconditional love. And then in that level, you are realizing you can manifest anything you want all the time, but what you want begins to shift. So people are experiencing a little confusion about what they're wanting. And I work with a lot of clients who, on one level, they can be, you know, wanting all of the 3D realm stuff, you know, success and safety and security and all that stuff. And then on another level, they're not even worried about it. And they're very peaceful. They're very calm. They're realizing they can manifest anything that sources fully in their corner. So this creates a lot of confusion <clears throat> in their field, and they're not sure what to do about it. The other part of this is that when we are asking Source for guidance, um, there's tape delay sometimes. And we don't know what to do with delay. So what do most people do when there's silence in a conversation? They chalk it full of just garbage talk, right? You know, they just start talking about trivialities. You've been at those, uh, you know, 
dinners where, you know, there might be some long silence as someone feels like they've got to say something. Well, source never feels like he's got to say something, or she or it. So, you know, you're you're dealing with the silence, and then you're dealing with your discomfort. And the discomfort begins to grow, and it grows because you think, oh, my God, I'm not going to get an answer. Oh, my God, I can't hear. Oh, my God, I, I'm going to be abandoned. All of the fears from your inner child, from past lifetimes, from your ancestral line, from every attachment and belief surfaces and starts screaming at you that the whole world is going to fall apart because you haven't gotten an answer in 15 minutes or a day or two. So one thing to understand is that Sometimes we're not ready for the answer. Sometimes we are shifting into another level or another dimension. We can't take action. We're not ready yet. And then as we integrate that last shift, and a lot of you know what I'm talking about, then the guidance starts to come, and you realize you needed that different message, that different direction. You were ready now to implement. That fear that was holding you back before is not there now. That understanding you didn't have three days ago is now here. So it is an abandonment, but all of these triggers are surfacing in this moment for you to clear, for you to shift. And in that silence is your opportunity to draw in guidance, to draw in the masters, to draw in the archangels, <clears throat> to allow them to speak to you, to allow them to participate with you. And out of this, you begin to discover that you are powerful. You are all that. You can stand in your power. So whether you're standing in the kitchen or driving your car or you're in a corporate boardroom or you're in the operating room or you're sitting across from a critical parent or you're being shamed somewhere, nothing, none of that is stopping you from standing in your power, standing in your strength, standing in your truth. Nothing is stopping you from inviting the light beings, the ascended masters, the archangels into the room, into your presence in that moment. Nothing. And this is where a lot of us are at. And this is where a lot of us are struggling because we are waiting for the world to change. Like last week's topic, we're waiting for something out there to get fixed first. Then I'll feel better. I'm telling you, we're in a time now where we can bring in these heightened vibrations do the shift right in the midst of the chaos and transform. That's what it's like to operate in success from the higher dimensions. It doesn't look the same. It doesn't play the same. It doesn't have the same rules. So if you're interested in talking about what you're experiencing right now, the number to call is 1-800-930-2819. one 930 2819. How many times have we, you know, had to deal with wanting to fill that space with something? I know some people that they can just not stop moving. They have to be in action all the time. If they're silence, they've got to pick up the phone, get on their social media account, send an email, do something just to not deal with silence. Because silence has such a negative connotation to them. Where did they learn that? Source isn't afraid of silence. Source isn't afraid of anything. So notice all of these negative flare-ups in your field. Is it emotional? Follow the string. Follow it all the way. Does it go back to childhood? Does it go back to, oh, you know, it's always quiet before the storm? Okay, well, that sounds really ominous. What is the messaging behind the silence? What is the messaging behind waiting? You know, did you get left at school and no one picked you up till 7 p.m. one time, you know, or did it have a really bad meeting and at meaning and after that, you know, your father left and you never saw him again. Follow the string all the way through. I'm not diminishing any of the honest to God drama and pain that we have gone through, but this opportunity in this moment is for you to heal the core wound and the pain. So, this is where I work with people. If you are getting a lot of triggers right now, and I know a lot of you are, I do want you to give me a call, and I would really recommend some sessions, you know, whether you're stepping into creating a new business or you are um, leaving an old uh, way of life with 
you know, how you've always operated and you're stepping into something new. You don't know what it is yet. You sense this energetic shift. I'd love to work with you. I have had tremendous testimonies from people of what happens on the other side of the shift. It is an amazing thing when you begin to step into your empowerment and it's coming from somewhere other than just your endless activity or, you know, setting goals and trying to make it happen and failing at the same place every time. And uh, when we come back, I do want to talk about failure and all of the messaging around that. Oh, my gosh. Some of us are so traumatized from where we have failed in things that we do not want to ever attempt anything again. And these these are some vows that we have in our field that need to be lifted. So if you're feeling like you've got some vows coming up in the area of relationships or the area of money or the area of doing work or examples you've seen that were so unsavory and just disheartening and you just didn't want to step into anything that compromised you, then this next segment is for you to hear. So again, if you're looking to do some work, my site is lesliefontaine.com. You can reach me at 678-665-3366. I've got a Facebook account, got Twitter, but honestly, I'm very careful about what I put out there because I'm dealing, as you can tell, at some of the core levels and with people who are wanting to shift into the grandeur of all that they are. In retirement, will you have enough money to live life on your terms? Everyone has retirement questions, so ask Ameriprise Financial Advisor Jeff Packman about the new Confident Retirement Approach. You and Jeff can break down retirement planning step-by-step to get the real answers you need. Call Jeff Packman, Financial Advisor, today at 425-453-0272. Office is located at 601 108th Avenue Northeast, Suite 1800, Bellevue, Washington, 98004. The Confident Retirement Approach is not a guarantee of future financial results. Investment advisory products and services are made available through Ameriprise Financial Services, Inc., a registered investment advisor. Ameriprise Financial Services, Inc., member of FINRA and SIPC. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Called the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R Patshow.com for listening times in your area. Hi, I'm Leslie Fontaine with Sheer Alchemy on Transformation Talk Radio. And here's your tip of the week. When we own our own responsibility, we're choosing to own our choices, our energy, our day, our jobs, our relationships. It's a tall order. And what difference does that make? Well, plenty. We're choosing to look within, to change agreements within ourselves, to keep our energy field clean, and to upgrade as needed to make choices that are authentic to us. This shifts our language. We no longer blame others. We're no longer victims of our circumstances. So if we don't get paid abundantly or loved abundantly, let's look within and ask, where am I not honoring myself? Where am I not loving myself? Let's change the agreement. Let's get real with what's in place, forgive ourselves and others, and shift into our new life. Visit me at lesliefontaine.com or call me at 678-665-3366. Let this be the last day that you choose to look outwardly and look within. All right, we're back. 
I am just loving the energy of that. I love the energy that we can apply to what we're doing, and it, you know, it's always encouraging to have encouragement, isn't it? I love that. I love it when someone encourages me, and I want to encourage you that the divinely inspired idea that you have, the joy that you get when you step into your soul essence, that beautiful wide place where you feel safe and comfortable and at peace and at rest within yourself, that is awesome. That's you, and it is your birthright to step into that. And when stuff gets in the way that interferes with that, that's this opportunity we have with Source to help us release any of those core wounds, any of those agreements that really aren't us, even the words and the language and the beliefs about ourselves that aren't true. I want to talk a moment about failure and the heaviness of that word. You can just hear what it means to people. Um, You know, we have interpretations in numerous cultures of what failure is. You know, is failure not having a job, not having a partner, not having enough money? Um, You know, people going through different challenges with their health and Instead of looking at it that way, I want the next time you start thinking about that, I want you to ask whose voice is that? Is it parental? Is it work? Is it culture? And then I want you to bring in source. I want you to bring in the guidance team, the masters, the archangels, and I want you to notice how they can help you shift the perception of what that so-called failure is. Often, it's a moment of reckoning. It's a moment of, of taking a look at how we can shift our energy into what we're truly about our soul essence. So think about that next time. And again, I'd be delighted to work with you to help you through some of this. This is transformative stuff I'm sharing with you today. This is about who you are in this world. You're not here by mistake. And I'm really excited that you have this chance, just like several of us, to step into all that you are. So Benny, who have we got? We'll take Cassie calling in from Linwood. Cassie, welcome to the show. Hi, Cassie. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing okay. Good. What's going Thanks on? Thanks for taking my call. Well, uh, so I've been working really hard to raise my vibration, and I've been really positive and feeling really good, you know, and having a lot of gratitude and trying to. Can you hear me? Okay. Absolutely. Okay, I, it's kind of windy out here, so. Um, but my husband's been really stressed out about like our debt and he doesn't really buy into the whole law of attraction and, you know, thought and everything like that. Thinks mm-hmm. I'm kind of like, woo woo, you know? Yeah. So I've been trying to, you know, motivate him and everything like that. Uh, Yesterday, I had kind of an emotional day at work. Um, my boss, like, made me cry. And then <laughs> and then Aww. it just kind of carried on to the rest of the day. And I just felt so defeated, you know. And I don't know. I, I just, I don't know where to go from here. Well, here's what's coming through real strong for you. And that is that... You have been carrying a lot of people for a long time. Your field is very porous. And so when people are around you, they're affecting you very deeply. But you're also, can you uh, put your phone on mute maybe? That might be good. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So when we're having this kind of implosion, you know, I know this is going to sound ridiculous, but I just start clapping because this is our moment of reckoning. And this is yours, okay? So if I were to tell you, all right, enough already. No more. You're done with carrying other people's energy. You're ready to step into all that you are. You're going to release your husband and everyone else to their life path. And you're going to learn to protect your field so that you can stand in your own power and stand in your own truth. This is your moment. You know, so sometimes when we've been brought to the point of tears or an implosion or a cosmic two by four, it's because we've gotten other warnings along the way. And, you know, we didn't really listen. We thought, well, I'll just rest. I'll clear my field. I'll meditate. I'll, and then I'll be able to take some more. Cassie, you are worth way more than that. And this is not about taking some more. So 
there's a part of you that's ready to step into your power. There's a part of you that has gotten guidance. You know to shift into some things right now. And you are holding back because you're afraid of the unknown. And this is where you are on your path. So on the one hand, I think you should be super excited. On the other hand, I commiserate completely that it's scary to not know what's on the other side of what's been revealed to you, what's been shown to you to step into. I would love to work with you on learning how to protect your field and stepping into your truth. And you know very well what's been shown to you regarding the debt. There's a part of you that knows everything's okay, but you can't control your husband's reaction, and sometimes this stuff makes it look like you don't care. And it's always interesting, isn't it, how source and unconditional love, which is not based on enabling, codependency, or attachments, can look like we're not caring. But source cares more than anything. But here's the deal. You cannot carry your husband's life path. You cannot do this for him. I want you to practice something today. Nobody will know this, only you. Within your field, I want you to release him. I want you to release your attachment to him, release the outcome, release what's going on at work, clear out that energy of agreement right now that that has you sort of in the grip of some things in the drama trauma at work. I want you to release all that, and I want you to notice within 24 hours what happens. It's going to be very powerful. And Cassie, just because of the uh, connection we have and and the muting that we need to do, I'd love it if you give me a call later, 678-665-3366, and, and we'll talk a little more about what this means for you. But you are, by divine appointment, on point, totally. So I know this doesn't feel good, but that's what's going on. You've been working on your vibration, and you are succeeding. So thanks so much for your call. I want to close up the show on um, this whole concept of success from the higher dimensions. Remember I said that it looks different from up there. It looks very different in terms of the priorities, in terms of where your power comes from. We've seen a lot of the example of the old masculine in this world that powers it out through uh, corporate business and is very aggressive and can seem almost heartless. Okay, The divine masculine is about inspired action. Everything about the divine is nurturing, loving, and embracing of the world. Uh, It is not hostile. It is not competitive. It is not coming from a place of poverty thinking or loss or abandonment or shame or humiliation or guilt. All those heavy, heavy things that maybe you grew up with, that you see around you all the time, your spirit's saying, enough, no more. So... How do we create success without that? Well, isn't that interesting? We allow some silence. We allow the inspired ideas to come to us, and we begin to learn about the new rules. Maybe the book hasn't been written yet, but we're going to write it. So I hope that you'll work with me if you're in this place of starting to step into your power, stepping into all that you are, expanding your intentional energy, releasing everything in your field that is coming from a place of fear and smallness, and victimhood and stepping into total empowerment and the embrace of unconditional love from source. Again, if you want to work with me, my website's lesliefontaine.com and you can find all kinds of services and also some uh, CDs that will help you shift your energy um, through their meditational, but I bring in the Ascended Masters and for many of you right now listening, This is something that will really help you in your path. We are all needed right now. Our energy is really important. So let's be there for one another. You've been listening to the hit show, Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Gifted, shifted, and powerful is what this show is about. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com and LeslieFontaine.com for showtimes and dates. Contact Leslie at LeslieFontaine.com to schedule a transformative session that removes your blocks so that you can say yes to explosive abundance. You will not be the same. 